hello! I feel like it's been a little while since I actually sat down and did like a decent intro. I was sick and I've been moving if you couldn't tell I moved. So I was just super busy so I feel like I haven't had a lot of time recently to like sit down and really go in depth and film a video. I've still been making videos because I still want to be active on here but I feel like they just weren't the quality content that I want to put out. I mean hopefully you guys still enjoyed them but I feel like I can be doing so much better now that I'm not sick anymore and I am settled into my new place. So with all of that being said before we go into the video I actually want to discuss two things real quick just just super quick don't worry. First thing is I plan on doing a Q&A video so please in the comments below ask me any questions it can be about me about animals literally whatever you want I already posted on Twitter and Instagram that I was doing a Q&A so you can send me questions on there as well but if you don't follow me on either of those which I suggest that you do you can leave comments um, down below in the comment section of this video, you know? So yes, there's that. I plan on doing a Q&A within the next few days. Um, so leave me some questions, anything you want to ask. And then, oh God, what was the second thing? Oh, okay, yeah. Second thing was, um, some of you noticed in my past few videos, yes, I moved. I now have more than just a single bedroom to keep my animals in. I have a designated reptile room, a designated small animal room, and then I still have a couple things just kind of throughout. Like I have um, Mark, my day gecko right here. So yes, I actually moved. I have a bigger place now, more room for my animals. So that's another reason that I was kind of like inactive. Sorry, my furnace just turned on. That's, I probably didn't make much of a difference, but hopefully it made some difference. I moved and now that like all of my furniture and everything is settled in, I do plan on filming like a whole tour. Like, okay, so now we will actually get into the video. So a lot of you guys may or may not have watched um, my like, it was like two videos ago or something, a couple videos ago. I did a video all about how my Amazon tree boa got mites and then how I was treating for it and everything like that. So because of that, I had to tear down her enclosure. I had to empty everything out, throw out the substrate and then like fully clean everything. I had to treat the cage itself, all the branches and decorations in it. So I did that a couple days ago and now that everything is clean and treated, it is ready to be set back up again. So I thought because of this, I would take advantage of this and I would film it and then you guys can see how I set up the tree bow enclosure, how you should set up a tree bow enclosure and all of that stuff. Many of you probably saw the enclosure before. It was like one of my favorites. I really liked how it looked so I showed it a lot but I also went out and I bought a couple new things to put in it. Not like a whole lot but I just got a couple like more fake plants to add into it so hopefully it'll be even nicer than before and just a quick little update on my tree boa if you are wondering about the whole mite situation she's doing great there's like no sign of mites on her or anything everything has been treated she's been treated her enclosure has been treated she's still in quarantine though I'm still going to do one more treatment on her just to make sure that everything is gone. Everything is going good so far. I have still been checking my other reptiles, my other snakes. No one else has shown any signs of mites, so that's awesome. So hopefully it will stay just to my tree boa and then we'll be done. All of this being said, let's go ahead and start setting up her enclosure now. Okay, so on the table behind me is her enclosure. This stuff is just kind of thrown in it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this stuff out right now. Okay, so as you can see, the empty enclosure is right be here, right, right here behind me. Sorry that I'm just kind of like a weird little head in the corner, but like, whatever. Maybe I'll move. Up. But quickly before we get into actually setting this up, I'm going to talk about tree boas and their enclosure since if you're watching this video maybe you are someone who is looking to get a tree boa and you want to know how to set up their enclosure. So the first thing to keep in mind is Amazon tree boas are arboreal meaning they spend most of their time up in the branches. Now usually when people think of arboreal animals they will think of a cage kind of similar to this one back here. Very tall and not so wide. Amazon tree boas don't actually really like that. They would much prefer to have room to move side to side because 
because even though they do like to climb, they typically will climb side to side in the branches. So you want to make sure that they have enough room to move around. So yeah, you actually, when it comes to Amazon tree bows, even though they are arboreal, you actually want to get a longer enclosure rather than a taller one. That being said, you do still need some height, obviously. It is preferred to have at least 24 inches of height. This here is only 18 inches. Um, I am trying to find a 24 inch one, but I'm having a lot of trouble, but it is my goal to eventually have a 24 inch one. But for now, this 18 inch one works just fine. But 24 inches is preferred, but an 18 inch one will do if you can't get your hands on a 24 inch one. So this enclosure here measures 36 by 18 by 18. So it's much longer than it is tall and wide, which is what they prefer. All right, so that being said, let's go ahead and add in the substrate. For my tree bows enclosure, I am choosing to use forest floor. I really, 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 really like this for Amazon tree bows. This is probably like the only stuff I would recommend. Obviously it doesn't have to be this exact brand, but like any kind of cypress mulch will will be ideal. So I'm going to go ahead. I have two bags. I'm probably going to add one and a half. Let's see though. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this in now. Okay, I have one bag in. I'm just going to kind of spread this out now to see how much more I need. So I am probably only going to add half of the second bag because I don't really think I need a whole bag. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. The only thing I've done is I added one and a half bags of forest floor. And just in case you were wondering, I used eight quart bags because they do make different sizes. So I added basically like a total of 12 quarts because I added a full eight and then half of another. Now, the next thing I'm going to go ahead and add are these branches here. These were in her enclosure before, but I took them out and I treated them for mice and everything. So these are safe to put back in. Obviously, she is a tree boa. A tree bow is like to climb so it is very important that you have multiple branches in your enclosure the more branches and places you have for them to like climb and perch the better so I'm just going to go ahead and add all of these in now I'm actually going to pull up a picture of how I used to have it set up because I really want to make it the same because I really, really, really liked how it was before. So I'm going to go and take a look to see. So this is how my sticks are going. This is basically the exact same way I had them set up before. So now I'm just going to kind of make sure that they're like sturdy in place so that they don't just like fall over. So now I'm going to go ahead and add this vine. It's just a big vine. Okay, so there's the one vine in, and I actually, this vine was in the enclosure before. This is an old decoration, but I actually, I really like these vines. I use them like for all of my animals. So I actually went and I picked up a second one as well. So I'm going to add that in here too. Okay, so those are all my vines added in. I'm really liking how it looks so far. It looks very full and jungly, which is what I'm going for. So the more plants and everything you have in your enclosure, the more secure your animal is going to feel. So I recommend filling it up as much as you can. So this here is also a new plant I picked up. It's, it's a fake plant, it's not real. So I think I'm going to try and add this in the enclosure as well. I think I honestly might just 
leave it there. Like, I, I feel like that's that's good. So that is all added in. I really, really, really like how full it is over here. Like Now, the last things I have to add are my fake little flowers. There, so now you can see the flowers are just back here and that's really about all I have. Now you may be wondering a couple other things like where's the heat source and the water bowl. Those are not being added on right now just because I have them in my tree bow's quarantine enclosure. Her water dish is in there along with her heat lamp. So normally her um, water bowl goes over here in this little empty area right here. And when she's out of quarantine, her water dish will go back here and then her heat lamp goes up over here. So really that's about it for setting up a tree bow enclosure. They look super nice. I really, really love how they look and it's pretty easy to do. I mean, you really just wanna make sure you have branches and plants and everything for the snake to climb on and explore around. But other than that, it's really not that complicated. I actually went and made one quick change. As you can see, this large plant back here and this little flower, I actually switched places. I feel like I like that plant in the middle better than over on the side, and I like the flowers on either side. So I went ahead and moved those. I mean, it's not her. I can move them whenever I want if I change my mind. So yeah, this is what I have going so far. So this here is basically the whole enclosure. As I said, the water dish will be added over here, and then a heat lamp will be added up there. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it hopefully you like my tree bow setup as much as I do because I really like it Thank you for watching this video remember like I said I am doing a Q&A so leave your questions in the comments below all right so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you are interested in getting an Amazon tree boa or you want to know how to set up their enclosures I really hope this video helped you thank you guys so much for watching be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and also be sure to check out all of my social media everything is just MSAM99 I will have it in the description below though so make sure you check those out. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.